Well, heading into Richmond, Martin Truex Jr. had to be considered one of the favorites. He has won there multiple times, and despite leading 56 laps, he fell short in the end when he was forced to start on older tires on those final weeks. Yeah, six lap old cuffs against everybody else on stickers with 20 some laps to go. He goes from a really, I thought, the dominant car, the car that should win the race, out of the top 10 by the, by the final count. Out of the top 10 for the first time in nine races, if you can believe it, eight races in a row. But really, when you go back, I know it was painful to see the 19 losing laps, but the mistake was really made 350 laps earlier right here, coming onto pit road, following the 99 of Daniel Suarez on the pit road. They were running outside the top 10. You see how few of cars pitted in the front. I think the thinking was to gain some track position, but in such a st short stage, can't use this set of tires. No, if you look at this race, and we've got 10 sets total, you're gonna start on one of them, so you got nine sets left in the box. If you break down this race, we've got three sets we're gonna put on for stage breaks, now we're down to six. I would look at this race and say one in stage one, two in stage two, two in stage three. I, I missed my count there, but there should be two extra sets. They used one of them here, that put them in a box that at the end of the day unraveled the race. Yeah, what happened to you is what can happen to a crew chief, and that's losing sets of tires, and I joke, because it has become this, right? As tire counts have dwindled in the Cup Series, trying to manage them in a place like Richmond is very, very difficult. So let's go to the line graph. Let's take a look at their day. I mentioned it, lap 47. The first dip, competition yellow, no big deal. The second dip, that is the one in my mind that was unnecessary for the 19 car. He didn't need to come to pit road at that point. He did, he used that set of tires and that was really the end of it. And actually, if you look at this stop here, he starts out in 12th. James Small brings him into pit road for six lap pressure tires. Actually a net negative in stage one, came in 12th, ended stage one in 14th, and down a set of tires. If you're a race winning car, you have to try to manage those tires for that final stage. Other teams that are trying to save a lap, different story. It's not the same mm -hmm. for everyone, but let's see how this played out. As we move into the second stage, there's a set of tires for the end of stage one, and then two sets during the stage. I thought that the yellow hurt him, but you feel like that this set right here, that's a yellow flag, that regardless, you were pitting twice, even if it ran green. So we talk about this is the stage break right here, and, and we're coming to the stage break here. We said two sets. That yellow came early, but nobody committed to taking three in that one. They just lengthened how long they had to split the run for that last set of tires that we got here. Um, actually ended up on par for where you needed to be with a strategy that you would call this race with. On par the longest stage yet to go, and that's really what happened to the 19th. So as we advance into the third stage, what happens at this point is, if it goes green, it's relatively simple. But then right away, we see kind of back-to-back -back pit stops, which burn some sets of tires, and that really leaves, that's the start of the stage, right? Then we have a pit stop and a pit stop, which then leaves an 88-lap run to the finish. I like what the 19 did here. He only had one set of tires left. He was chasing, or he actually had taken the lead from William Byron. William yes. Byron comes to pit road, I hate that he waited two laps, but James Small says, you know what, I'm not gonna lose this race another way. I'm gonna chase the 24 to pit road, use my last set of stickers. I think it was his only advantage. In hindsight, Todd, I should listen. Well, I mean, these are the situations that a caution can ch change which strategy actually works. When I looked at this with that 88 to go, I felt like one set of tires left. We've seen a lot of late cautions this year. We talked about driver aggressiveness and the lack of, of, of courtesy to each other. That we see those, I wanted to have a set of tires late. And the other piece that drove me that way is the fact that the Joe Gibbs cars on the long run had very good pace. The 19 and the 11 both had driven forward in those longer runs in stage two. I felt like he had the ability to stay longer and to run that longer piece and maybe not pay the penalty. Well, the trends of late yellows continue, and unfortunately for the 19 at Martin Truex Jr., the lack of tires cost him a chance to win the race, which continues an unfortunate trend. Martin Truex Jr., while he did win at the Coliseum, surprisingly still looking for that first points-paying win in the next-gen car.